he gets in trouble. So, Radiant in some ways, it's, it kind of forces the Doxy to play passively and just spam Iron Shell and creeps, I think. Right. And tight into, which, in some ways, is like a pretty big disadvantage for Complexity's lane stage, because if the Doxy is able to still draw support's attention, it's getting a lot more damage. Yeah, but if he also dies, this isn't the play. Like the Volta forward and uh, Z Free body blocking up Brax. He doesn't even care if there is a level one iron shell on him. He's giving Hunsk the time to attack in, and this should actually be first blood, even with the salve usage. As she makes that first blood even more expensive for Free. Rolling Volta now away to safety. They force rotations out from Shazam. And initially they were the ones looking to initiate, but it was. Wait. Oh, the poison touch was not then, so. And that, that's partially because it's quite difficult for the Lions to roam early on in this position. Jason's just been happy to do pulls, get levels. They're coming this time though. With a double damage rune over on the task gun, they may just have enough damage. As the Stormbolt flies off the Swindles, he'll anchor smash and try and remove a little bit of the damage, but it's just not enough. Hey, <laughs> yeah. okay, and Limp. You know, imprison him to start with. Watch these defensive refraction charges as the ball comes forward. MS says, well, he's now our defensive charges. Being kicked back doesn't help out either. Especially when Limp continues to steal all of your intelligence. The shards fly forward. And Savage, perfect rotation, finds the kill onto Z. Lose all the mana and couldn't even use refraction. He's yeah. reaching a very similar point up against this OD. Just with the right of death, so it'll pop, pre pop pretty quickly. But now Complexity try and get some back of their own. And Z Freak comes in for the kick, and MSS, uh, he will die here. Lip will throw the ult if he has to, and he will in fact do that. Also one for TC, he's gonna walk himself over. Swindles is a big target. And the shards lock him in perfectly. Hunter's got a Shallow Grave, so he can make this fight last a little bit longer. Even with the ball forward, there's your Shallow Grave now kicking in. Hunter with a heal, and Swindles. Um, they still have the Hex available. Oh, a TP out is not successful. And OD has actually gone just full of power trades. Also has an Invis rune and wants to potentially get MSS at the ancient stack. Pretty good. D3 sort to get the kick right though. Oh, he can just ball it. That'll also work. MSS goes Invis and Z3 brings aboard. So MSS will drop. Yeah, you can't take that limp. You may be able to take some and throw it. So with this smoke maneuver, they're going to find Chassis. And they're going to find him really low. He has to shadow dance and whoop! He pounces out of pure fear and... Actually, he's going to fight them, isn't it? Yeah, like, coming forward. Swindles, though. He's going to ravage. They have to be careful with this. He swindles. Okay, the finger of death. To ensure he's low enough. That he questioned actually, actually powering off the ravage because he wouldn't survive long enough. Now Limp also being attacked. Shallow Grave from Hans is going to do some serious work here. And now the ball comes forward. The double sun, however, catching up Hans. And Limp is stealing intelligence while it's going on. So he can pop the Tusk on with his ultimate. And now has to back off. But not before he kills off TC. A defensive refraction will keep him alive. And Shazam is coming in. Got the kick on the TC, so there's no straight pull off damage. They will snowball underneath the town. This is a good time for Complexity to bring in extra help as Z Freak just turns on the Magnetite. First TP is arriving from the Slark. Now they do get the first kill, but the jump forward, even with Walrus Punch, this will mean Chessy. Yeah, it's the first reveal of the Blink. Then again, he already revealed that when they pushed through mid. It's a two for one trade off. Shazam going way down the hills. So their wave never dies, their heroes never go low. Um. <laughs> Did wow. Jesse accidentally blink out then, or did he get put? Uh, uh, Chase him? Swindles looks really exposed, but now Z Freak's also here, and Swindles? Well, there's your Ravage. Z Freak's gonna silence up Jason as well, so uh, he'll attempt to TP out with the ball forward. They have just enough damage to find the kill. So, gank on the PC. not certain exactly where he wants to go, though. If he goes up, they'll find Limp, and that's Limp. the first thing that actually revealed it. They actually use the Finger of Death for this? So Limp will be down for 50 seconds. Actually, Shazam probably can take a fight. And I think they're gonna try. Whoops. <laughs> like they needed to bail out. Leaf Hunt's good for dead. Just fall away to safety on the back of a TP from Z Freak. It's just like the the linchpin of any kind of fight that's gonna happen now. Kudos is trying to force some level of fight. And Mars can be tested, it does it. Goes onto the top of Jason. He's already got the Shadow Dance up. And Line will go down. No finger of death, so no pop pop. Pull forward from, from Z Freak. Find Savage. They still need another stun, and uh, well, they don't want to commit Ravage for just this. It's not worth it this time around for Swindles to do it. Z Freak. Well, for a century, Chessie. Oh, he dodges the Stormbolt. 
Gold Street's gonna have a lot of time wasted. The imprisonment the imprisonment was there after the center back into a big wall. The Rabbit will try and clean up for the crit. And the turn just a swing from TC. It was the cleave from TC that instantly pops the dazzle. Chessy still trying to take through this, but he needs to count himself away, and he's able to do so. And Swindle still in the middle of the fight. Now they turn on the magnet side. You may have lost that block thanks to MSS's great positioning, and Deep Freak also going to go down to this. But OD now makes his play. Swindles are still battling it off. Can we actually get a full wipe here? Another back from Brax trying to create space. There's a limp. 45 stolen intelligence. He wants MSS. He needs more speed forward. There's no four stuff available. One more attack will do it. And there she blows. They get rid of the illusion. It's a triple kill coming in for Limp. Staying close because they don't want to give up the rush either. But Shazam at BKB is ready. And this wrap no around. Rapid. It's so good. The back to three men. Oh, the sun with the cleave. Say goodbye to 12 of them. Swindles has no rabbit. Another 12 seconds. Complexity. They have to start buying back Earthbrew with a four stop. Gives Swindles a little bit of space to maneuver. Jesse getting mixed up there in the dark. See a wall, but now the magnetite turns off as Dietrich. Stranded. Killed. The ravage is up. Limp. Start to steal that intel, which means he can become more and more powerful. So is Chessy for TC. He runs away. He's got Blink available as well, and Limp blinks just a little bit too late in the wrong direction. He can turn back around and try and attack in towards Brax. The finger of Death Clark. He remains alive for now. And now, actually, maybe a little bit too committed here to them. They're still underneath Limp with 40 stolen intelligence. He's only got caught in eight seconds time, but it may not matter. His attacks, his basic attacks, still do enough. In some ways, the previous fight, like the previous fight, didn't start quite as well for Shazam, but I feel like both times begin this very convincingly for Shazam, and the fight just goes on. Tier three tower before you even chipped the tier two tower on top. Tower is under attack. And Jesse, say goodbye to your mystic staff. Two. They both, they both have an observer in that area. Oh, limp. As you're impressed over on the TA, so got the BKB. Nice stun coming in for Jason, but. Now, he kind of gives up his life for this. They'll chase him into the tree line and then uh, Jason will die for the cause. But it keeps uh, his TA alive, which is the more important thing. Yeah. The Freak's gonna come for a kick as well. This is MSS came out, then they go to the Abyssal Blade. The BKB there and Chessy needs a Shadow Dance. They able to do so. In comes Swindles as well. They're gonna wait out these BKBs before Swindles can let the Ravage go, but still at the same time, Brax's gonna get gushed to death. <laughs> And it is a, a moist funeral for him. Much obliged. And again, it's the TA and the Sven first wave. You start with a defensive weave. And the ball. Oh, Z Freak! He found him! He actually managed to find Lion. He'll turn on the magnetizer just in case. The TP out swindles to you, Shivas. Oh, just enough damage. Just barely enough damage. They're wrapping around. Shazam is going to come from the dire side until Chessy walks in them. The pound spawn with the dark back to try and break free. Limp takes so much damage from the Sven. He's trying to walk it off under the cover of BKB. Illusion or not, you're going to have that OG drop down, but now your Ravage kicks in from the Swindle. Refresh roll trigger. Second Ravage as well for the Dark Deer Wall. They're fighting on top of it, which means CC can make their play. The Snowball gives protection and complexity. That could actually be a huge loss to their game right now. The entire team gets wiped. Refresh Pressure orbs are burnt. As much damage as they can before complexity are up again. This is one of those things like both teams spoke, and it happens to be that the angle of approach is very favorable for the one team and the other because they're coming from reactors otherwise. And that's I think that almost seals the fight immediately. The devil's dead without doing anything. No Glamon anyone, no weave, no hills, no graves. Yeah. And all of a sudden, GG push here. Fortification will slow them down. They got 13 seconds till OD's up, but they got a 30 second window in order to do that. And that's a bigger window. The shallow grave comes down from Hans with a four stop and the ball to back to the back from Brax. And to keep Deep Freak in control, the Glimmer Cape will allow Deep Freak to just still stand on the front lines. But now he goes down, lifts up and about. Fiverr comes down from the Earth for a TC, goes in deep, the BKB stopping the Stormball from hitting onto Limp, but they keep attacking into the rack. Now MSS imprisoned up, maybe now should have a bit of a little bit more than they can shoot. Two seconds till Slark, MSS is still waiting in the center towards it down, and there's the only ulti. Stay combined, the Aegis Immortal, stay combined to your line, as well as your Tusk up, as well as your Sven. They've gone for two months, the Brax Brax is jumping back into the fight, MSS, he can't do enough damage, and now Limp already looking for the next big target. Brax on the run out. He slowed down a little bit too much and Brax will go down too. Defending the ball back. 
What has Shazam done? No, they got destroyed. They don't kill the racks, they all commit. Maybe they get it. And Complexity are gonna have had a heart attack about that. It doesn't matter they didn't lose the game. It doesn't matter they're still in it. it. doesn't matter they're feeling good. I, I, you can bet your life that they were panicking. They were like, holy shit, did we just lose this match? Ross has a new can. As now, there's a jump. He caught out of Brax. They need that kill. The heck of the OG and there's your back. It's a two man down the cleave. They need more damage. The rabbit from Swindle. They can't do enough. The BKB has actually protected this man. And Chessy, he's gonna pound himself out of here. Complexity. Now they've gone too far. What is this? Chessy's actually tree trapped. He was locked in the tree. They're gonna break free. He's down! Can't be cool to keep himself up and Chessy jumping on top of Brax, that Darkseer. They really want him gone. They want to stop the combination, but now in comes TC. Swindle, he needs to ravage with the Odi imprisonment. Now buy him the time. The BKB should be gone by that point. And now MSS, there goes your ravage. Catches him out, the one for one trap, but MSS, he's the bigger one corner. 106 seconds on the side. Brax also latched up by Chessy. He'll throw down the wall, but this Glimmer Cape is a too little too late. Into the trees, you can't search yourself out this one. He battles one on one with Swindles. Let's go further down the river where Chessy, he's on the run. He'll find the Tuscar who will actually snowball to buy himself time to blink away to safety. But Complexity, they're coming for the GG push. They know the TA as well as the Dark Sea are down. They still have to give respect to TC, however. Swindles, okay, maybe no respect to be given. Chessy's jumping back in. TC trying to kill off Swindles to make this fight a little bit more favorable once Complexity reach their home. Now, two minutes without TC. Oh, the timing from Swindles was perfect then. Like, absolutely perfect. You couldn't have asked for better synergy. And right now, Shazam is just trying to lay this game up. They need some level of damage on the field. The upside is the fact that Complexity is really... Sh okay. Really shy at killing off towers. Really great at killing off heroes. Chessy has 29... 29S installed at the moment. Brax will go for the back. TA, now 10 seconds away. Snowball forward on top of Z-Freak. Chessy, they still just keep attacking the racks. Can Complexity have enough? TA up in two seconds time. The racks are still alive. The fortification goes to work. Chessy, the BKB is going to wear off for him soon. But the racks have been brought down. Z-Freak may actually do the work by himself over on the side. But can they do it? They're still not close enough. you got refresh from cooldown in five seconds time. The racks 160 life. Z-Freak dropping fast. MSS is there. But there it is. Complexity. Final. After what was the push, pull, push, push, pull, 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 push, push game. The rest of five grand final deciding game. Complexity will qualify for the epicenter land with over with a five hundred thousand dollars up for grabs and a beautiful land final in Russia. Oh my! I gotta say, I gotta say, Toby, this is like if you had to ask me, are Complexity feeling proud? Are they feeling? excited 